the rest of the team are heading out in search of a much larger predator, the clouded leopard. It is a really big deal that we've found those pug marks here and so close to camp because they are one of the rarest cats in the world and we've got one living very close to the camp. Separate groups of us have gone out tonight in different directions trying to uh, see if we can find the clouded leopard. Using spotlights is actually one of the best ways of finding things at night time because more often than not if you catch a, a cat particularly in these spotlights they just stop. You get this eye shine, the light bouncing back off their eyes. As the search for the leopard takes them deeper into the jungle, Gordon comes under attack. Oh, get off. From blood-sucking leeches. I really don't like them. They're, they're quite abhorrent, really. He's got his teeth into me. I'll have to kind of pull it off with my nail. As soon as they latch on, look, but you can't even get them off your finger, look. And he'll, he'll work his way to a nice, warm area. The leopard is so well camouflaged, the team could be walking right past one and not notice. To help track it down, Gordon has brought a piece of high technology to this ancient forest. This is the, the first night I've used the thermal imaging camera. Anything that's hotter than the average is going to show out a bright orange, so warm-blooded mammals are going to stick out like a sore thumb. Justine's team see some eye shine. So the red eyes. Yeah. And just push it down. It's not the leopard, but they found its prey. Two tiny mouse deer. It's a little mouse deer. Leopard dinner. Well spotted. I've got to be up at 4.30, so we're going to cut it short. Okay. That gives me precisely six hours sleep. Gordon presses deeper into the jungle and makes an extraordinary find. There's a tarsier just about five metres in front of me. It's a little, little red dot, orange dot, right in the middle of the frame. OK, I'm going to move a little bit closer, try and get further down the bank. The tarsier secretive and silent with huge eyes to make out predators hunting it in the darkness. It's said that if, if humans had eyes the size of tarsiers, they'd be as big as apples. They can nearly rotate their head 360 degrees. They can look all the way around, all the way around that way. A cousin of the bush baby, the tarsier is an important find. It's never been seen in this canyon before. To sit this close to a wild tarsier is fantastic, really good. 